spots can feel pain via artificial skin. In films and video games, robots have one advantage over people, the inability to feel pain. This means they can press on without the fear of getting hurt. But that robotic trait may soon end with an artificial skin, which lets robots detect and react to pain. Pain isn't a joy, but it lets us discover bad changes in the environment. Shifts in the temperature, pressure, and others can be detected by your skin, and anything too much may lead to pain signals. Your brain then tells you to keep your distance right away, which explains how quick you pull away from a source of pain. AIs and robots don't know what pain feels like because they can truly feel them. They lack nerves and related signals to detect and translate pain or discomfort. So, a really advanced and curious AI would want to learn how to feel pain. We have something that may help AIs learn pain. Perceptron, a key tech in AI, is an algorithm and a simple model of a biological neuron for an artificial neural network. When an input is confirmed, the algorithm can make the decision where it should be classified, and this is crucial for the output of the system. Roughly speaking, the AI needs an input classified as pain to output a reaction similar to hurt, just like a person would. However, this has been troublesome to accomplish for years. According to TechCrunch, a team of engineers at the University of Glasgow developed a synthetic skin that enables AI to perceive pain. The artificial skin features a new processing system type based on synaptic transistors. When you say synaptic, it is related to the synapses between nerve cells, and in this study, it replicates the neural pathways of the brain. The engineers made the transistors out of zinc oxide nanowires and were printed on the surface of flexible plastic. The transistors were connected to a skin sensor, which registers changes in electrical resistance. The changes served as input and the robot's reactions to them would be the output. The engineers claim that their design differs from others. A circuit was built into the system to act as an artificial synapse to cut down input to a spike in voltage. This tweak lets them teach the skin to respond to simulated pain using various settings of input voltage according to pressure level. When you press onto the skin, the robot reacts by pulling away from that pressure source. E-Skin mimics the neural pathway for tactile signal processing, bestowing skin-like haptic sensations to robots, researchers noted in a press release. What do you think about teaching robots how to recognize pain? Is it required for integrating robots into our society? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.